Hello everyone. Welcome to our studio today. So glad you could be with us. We start a little uh, fun painting. This is a painting that uh, actually we don't know how it's going to end up or what we're going to paint when we start. We've had a couple of suggestions and we're going to try to add some of those details in this somehow. I'm not exactly sure how. But anyhow, we've got a long way to go on this. Now, let me, first of all, I, I don't know if you can see all of these, but I've got hires all over this canvas. Some of my old brushes are just dilapidating. I think I got them all. Okay. Now, a couple of things I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to grab a little of this white right now. Now, I'm not going to put much of that in there, but a little bit. Okay, rinse him out. I hope you enjoy this series. This will be about a four part series, I believe. I think that's what we need for this series. Anyhow, as you can see, we have added a little bit of uh, color around the bank. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit more of that color. I don't don't need a lot of it, but I'm going to put some rocks and flowers and in, in and around the uh, little river or creek or whatever it is. I guess it's a river. It looks pretty wide. I'm just pulling this color out a little bit. I'm going to go back later sometime in a little while. I'm just picking up a little of uh, the green. I might put a little more red in there eventually, I'm not sure. Another hire. I must have missed that one. Whoops. Okay, I probably need to uh, put a little more brown around this edge here. I'm just trying to get my water to look and reflective. Right in there, I'm going to add a little dark. Now, 
This over here will probably be grass and Okay, so far, so good. Now, what I want to do is really break all of this up and add some good-sized trees in there. I may put a dead tree in here, uh, maybe a building later. I'm not sure. Let's just go on with it. I'm enjoying this so much. I love to do these kind of paintings because they're as new to me as they are to you because I never know exactly what we're going to paint. I love to do both styles. I love to sketch and, and paint, and then I, sometimes I just love to uh, paint. I'm going to grab a little bit smaller brush here, if I can find one. Let me go up here and grab one. All right, that still got the price on it. <laughs> if you want to know, it's $9.95. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit more right back in here. Now, I'm going to put a little stand of trees right in there. Let's see if I can do it with this brush. I'm going to pick up a little brown, a little Payne's gray. And just that easy. Give us a little more perspective, you know. Now, I want to mix a little color uh, to weave into the bank a little bit. So I'm going to take a little brown. I'm going to grab some of this color here. I'm going to put a little red in it. I want it a little lighter than that. Actually, I want it a little lighter than that yet. So I'm going to grab a little yellow. Right on the edge there. I like that color. But I like it better, lighter. Now you don't have to mix this 100%. I'm going to start with this. I may come back later and uh, I'm going to make that a little redder. Give it more of a clay look. Let's see if that will do it. That's pretty good, but I want it lighter yet.
Now you're talking. Yeah, that's it. Rinse that out. Right, let me grab a little uh, stiffer brush. That's about what we wanted. I'm going to add a little over in this area. And a little in here. But I also need a little dark in there. Exactly. Now all of this, I'm probably going to put a whole bunch of rocks in this area. Maybe over in here too, I'm not, not sure. Rinse him out. All right. Now I'm going to drop that little brush right there. We'll be needing it again in a minute. Now I really love everything I've done so far. I'm going to put a, I'm going to grab this brush up. Because I want to put some large trees in here. Now, a number of ways you can do that. One is just go ahead and put a dark area and then highlight it or whatever you want to do. I think that's the way we'll start. You can use two colors at once if you want to. But I'm going to dip that in the center just a little bit. Maybe a, a little bit of that linseed oil. Some of them are pretty straight, some of them are not. That's a whole bunch of them, isn't it? Wow. Now 
I'm just using straight sap green. I'll probably intermix some other colors with that eventually. Just just get an idea of what we're going to do. And I'll probably put a few extra small ones in there. I'm not, sh not sure yet. Just trying to cover all the areas. And there may be some large stones in here. I'm not sure what we'll do. That'll probably be a little bank there. We don't have to blend that too much because it's going to have a lot of undergrowth here. And some of that probably will go over the top of these. Now, you probably should take a smaller brush. To do your limbs with. You can't get too many limbs on these trees because most of them have a lot of them. We probably won't put all that this one has on it. But we'll put a lot of them on there. Wow, that's a lot of limbs, isn't it? That's just a few of them.
Now I'll probably cover a lot of that up, of course. Some of these you can just fake in. Oops. What is that? Okay. I got a little bit of it in. I'm going to make this one just a little bit bigger, I think. And the bottoms of them will be covered with grass. So we don't need to do too much there. I'm rinsing that out. It's really good. I'll be using it again in a minute. Some of these big ones I probably won't need for a while. This one I'm probably going to do some foliage with it. Uh, I'm going to try to lay in a little foliage in this area, some of this area. Then we'll get back to our trees. Then we'll get to our stones, our flowers. I didn't rinse that brush out. I'm going to rinse it out. Appreciate you being with us this week. Hope you're enjoying this series. Now I'm going to mix some, uh, what I want to do is have a real pretty light green. Now I'll take sap green, cad yellow, and pull them out like that. Okay, we've got a little time left. So I'm gonna highlight a little bit here. Probably later on we'll come back and uh, do a lot more. Now I'm not worrying about going over the trees because we'll come back and lay that area in again. On this side, let's do a little bit right under our trees. Gotta have it a little lighter.
most probably will uh, come back and put some extra colors in there. Let's go to the other side and uh, lay a little bit of that in here. I want some back in here. I believe I want them a little brighter. So far, so good. Let's see if I can get them a little bit lighter right back in the back there. Yeah. And of course, we'll probably use some yellow in there. And of course, we're going to lay some flowers in here and some big old rocks, big old trees here that we'll just lay a whole bunch of. And I'll come in with a little darker than that. But I like those light colors. That really looks good. You know what? We've only got a half a minute left. So let's just lay a few of these in. And we won't go to the dark just yet. These will probably be almost full grown. I've enjoyed being with you so much today. This is a fun painting and I'm enjoying it. Hope you are. Come back next week and we'll do a little more work on it. Goodbye and God bless. Have you ever wanted to learn how to paint? Do you love to draw and doodle but would love to make yourself a better artist? Then click on over to earlroseart.com and check out the teaching DVDs. Or we'll teach you step by step on how to be a better artist. Or you can browse the many items for sale in the shop, just like these. That's EarlRoseArt.com.